Batichenga in central Cameroon is now home to one of the largest and most powerful hydroelectric project of its kind in West Africa. After facing major delays over the past decade and a half, authorities say the Nachtigal project is finally set to deliver on the country's vast potential in hydropower. Cameroon is drained by more than 20 major river basins. The government of the Republic, through the National Development Strategy for 2030, has made the strategic choice of developing our country's significant hydroelectric potential. A number of hydroelectric development projects are being developed as part of a public-private partnership approach to meet the ever-increasing demand for electricity from households and, above all, industry. This is with an aim of producing 5,000 megawatts by 2030 compared with the 2,000 at present. The project is situated on the powerful Sanaga River, about 65 kilometers northeast of the capital Yaoundé, and is a joint venture between French company EDF and the Cameroon government. The reservoir will produce electricity from a power station equipped with six turbines, capable of 60 megawatts each for a combined capacity of 420 megawatts. Authorities believe it's set to revolutionize the country's energy needs. It is against this backdrop that the current events in the electricity sector have brought us here today to the site of the Nachigol Dam. This is the first hydroelectric infrastructure in the SND30 project, which is designed to contribute to the achievement of 5,000 megawatts in our generating fleet. As a reminder, in February 2019, we ourselves launched work on the Nachigol Hydroelectric Dam at this very location. The project hasn't been without its critics, with some complaining that it's behind schedule and budget. However, the dam's director played down these concerns, saying progress has been steady. The work which began in February 2019 is now almost complete, as you can see, with a progress rate of 94%. A few minutes ago, we synchronized and connected the 60 megawatts N1 generating set to the power grid. The operation we have just carried out in the control room involved synchronizing the electrical parameters of the alternator on Nachtigol's Unit 1 with those of the RIS, Rezo Interconnecte SAD power grid. Closing the circuit breaker that connects the generator to the sonar trail transmission network, thus marking the coupling and supply to the network of the first megawatts per hour. This is therefore a significant milestone for the Nachtigol project. Worth an estimated $1.3 billion, authorities say Nachtigol can provide a safe, clean and affordable energy alternative. As the world tries to shift to greener solutions in a bid to mitigate the effects of climate change. The government says it's confident this is only the beginning of its renewable energy drive. Caroline B, CGTN.